the 60s today. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Welcome, everyone. As you come on, we're just going to wait until about 1.33 to get started. Everybody, a chance to log on. <clears throat> Thanks, Jill. I'm looking forward to sharing everything that we have at Corcovado. I, too, am a huge fan. I love it there. It's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are in for a treat. This property is a new gem. Give it one more minute here. Welcome to everyone that just came on. Hey, Kristen, I just saw her. In person, all right. Well, welcome to everyone. We'll go ahead and get started. We are recording, so if, um, people are coming on later or if they weren't able to hop on. I know everyone's so busy right now. So we are just really uh, thankful that you took the time. Um, so today we are really excited to have two of our properties in Costa Rica and in the Bahamas. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, I'm Natalie Payne. I'm the vice president of Calliope Collective. And we currently have 16 phenomenal independently owned hotels that we are really proud to represent in the US and the UK and Canada. Um, so I'm gonna share my screen and just tell you briefly a little bit about uh, Calliope. If you're not as familiar, we're still fairly new. We started in January, 2022. So hopefully you're pretty familiar with us by now, but um, just a little bit about the name and how that kind of came about so that the story will stick with you. Is everyone seeing my screen, Courtney? Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. So Calliope has two meanings for us, and literally in the Greek meaning, um, some people say Calliope, we say Calliope, uh, it means beautiful voice, and she was one of the nine muses in Greek mythology over poetry and music and the finer things in life, which are definitely in luxury travel what we're selling to our clients. We also love that the little Calliope hummingbird was one of the smallest birds, is one of the smallest birds in the world and flies over 5,000 miles alone to migrate. So, you know, as independently owned hotels, we have to work a little bit harder to stay in front of our clients and kind of flap our wings a little bit harder. So we're um, really excited just that you're here with us today. And again, about the opportunity to share these hotels that have had either are almost brand new for our Costa Rica property and then um, have had a lot of changes for Pink Sands. So just to give get you up to speed on our team, um, I'm Natalie. I'm based in Charleston, South Carolina. I was with uh, the Sanctuary at Kiowa for almost 18 years, so I know many of you from that. So really excited to be back on this side of the business. Dan Clark is my colleague in the UK. He's in London. And then we've just added Lindsay, who's in San Diego, handling the West Coast. Um, today, we are very excited to have two of our hotels. Um, this is a big series for Calliope that we're kind of breaking up our hotels and educating you guys about them. So SCP Corcovado Wilderness Lodge in Costa Rica and Pink Sands Resort in the Bahamas. So we will get started um, with Courtney Watson, who's the Director of Wellness Development for all of SCP hotels, but today specifically Corcovado. So I'm going to share the remote with you. Thank you very much. Let's get started. All right, let's get started. So thank you very much. As some of you may have heard, um, I am based in Colorado and have the privilege of working on um, the leisure sales side, which is a lot of my experience as well as wellness development for Soul Community Planet as a whole. So Soul Community Planet actually is a new um, brand as well. Sorry, I've got a little bit of a delay on my clicking. Let's see, there we go. So I wanted to give you a little bit about Soul Community Planet SCP Hotels. So we are a collection of 10 hotels, primarily on the West Coast. So California, Oregon, we also have one in Hawaii and then Costa Rica and uh, one here in Colorado as well. And the brand itself, really the name 
is our values. So it's all about nurturing the soul um, through nature immersion, connecting to the community that you're in. A lot of our properties, just like Corcovado, are on kind of these off the beaten path areas, and then being stewards to the planet. So we have an Every Stay Does Good program that gives back to um, national nonprofits as well as local nonprofits. I'll talk a little bit about In Oceana as we get through the presentation for what we're doing with Corcovado, but we also work with We Wellbeing to kind of connect and um, support adolescents um, within the community. We work with uh, Miracle for Kids, and then with Planet, we work with One Tree Planted. Um, so this number is continuously going up, but uh, you know something that really aligns with um, the values that, of our guests and who are coming. And I, um, a little nod to Calliope, this is actually actually the smallest uh, hummingbird and is found in Corcovado. So a little bit about the destination. So we are located on the southwest side of Corcovado, uh, of the Osa Peninsula and um, are in the middle of Corcovado National Park. So we have 89,000 acres within SCP Corcovado and then in the middle surrounded by us is uh, Corcovado National Park, which is 250,000 acres. So I always like to say that some of my favorite places in the world are where nature wins. And this is definitely one of those places. You'll see a mix of kind of some of my photographs. This is actually taken last month when I had uh, the opportunity to go back for the third time to Corcovado. Um, and you can see there's just nobody on the beach. So your arrival here, um, you are going to fly into San Jose, and then we have two different options for you to do. So you can either fly into San Jose and then take a Sansa Air Charter or a private charter that we can arrange for your clients. Uh, because of the only way that you're arriving to SCP Corcovado is um, by boat, it's really important to have the latest arrival be um, by noon. So uh, getting there, I would recommend either if they cannot get there and they want to take a private charter or a Sansa air flight down, staying in Han San Jose and then um, flying out the next morning, we pick you up at Drake Bay Airport and we bring you to the bay. And then from the bay, you um, have a 30 minute transfer. You can also, I know a lot of people have um, longer stays and experience a lot of uh, the area and of the country. So you can drive down to Sierra Bay, which is about a 45 minute drive from Uvita. And um, we have a boat dock there and we ask for the latest arrival there to be um, by 11 o'clock for an 1130 departure. This is an hour and a half boat ride. This takes you through the largest mangrove forest in Costa Rica and one of the largest in the world. So the reason why it takes an hour and a half is you're going through that forest. And then also it really is bird watching, nature watching. The last time um, I rode back there were monkeys and toucans and sloths and all of this amazing wildlife. So a really incredible experience. So this is you, the parking is free. Once you get there, if you do park, you take the um, little or this boat here to kind of go through the estuary and out into the open ocean. And then, as I mentioned, an hour and a half and you are to Corcovado from Drake Bay. So I like to call SCP Corcovado um, Eco Lux. So it is definitely, you know, pulling up your pant legs, walking through the water when you arrive to Drake Bay and arriving um, by boat and really doing the same thing. So with Drake Bay, it's only a 30 minute boat ride. You walk right out to our boat we um, and we have everything set up for you. We have dry bags, as you see here. So our team actually um, takes 
care of all of your belongings, put some in a separate boat or um, some of your personal belongings that you want to bring with you there. And then um, when you arrive, you actually go onto a smaller boat from the larger boat that you're in on the way down the coast. And the reason why that is, as you can see, there's all these rock upcroppings that come through. So our captains are amazing and navigate through those rock upcroppings. And then you come off of the uh, boat here and right onto the shore. Let's see. No, next slide. Sorry. One second. There we go. So um, that previous slide was just um, where you're walking up. We have a little foot bath that's set up there. This is our muse, as you saw in the first slide, which is our representation of Mother Earth. So each one, the hakule that they're wearing um, will be the flora and fauna that um, is represented there. So you can also say that it is, uh, or as I mentioned, we are right in the middle of the Corcovado National Park. So you see some as you go showing that. So our lobby area, once you get off of the boat, we have transportation that takes you up to our main lobby. You're checked in here and brought over to our jungle bar for a welcome drink. Your luggage is all put in your room so you don't have to worry about any of that. And then you receive your schedule for the day um, and then the rest of your trip while you're there. Uh, we have two different pools on the public spaces. We have our main pool that's right off of registration and our main dining areas. Then we also have our jungle pool that is just that. It's surrounded by jungle. I believe the last time I was there, they said that it was about um, 15 miles before you would reach any trails from here. So you're really nestled in the jungle. And this pool is actually spring fed by some of the springs that we have found on site. It is, isn't it? I agree. Thank you, Latuan. Um, so dining wise, we have two different options for dining. We have our jungle bar and restaurant that is set up for coffee in the morning. You can have breakfast there. This is just right above where the jungle um, pool is. So you've got these this amazing monkeys and birds and just the noises of the forest that you're listening to as you're having your coffee in the morning. And then we have Terra Kitchen as well, which is obviously looking right out over the ocean, spectacular views, great for lunch and dinner. Um, this just gives you some beautiful views of the space. Uh, we are in the process of getting some new furniture put in, so that's why it looks slightly sparse. Um, and the views are spectacular for sunset there. So a lot of the day's activities will um, finish here with lunch with this beautiful view. And then at the end of the day, you have the choice of eating up um, near the Jungle Bar at our main restaurant or down here at Terra Kitchen. And you've got these spectacular views. This is Kanyo Island in the distance. Uh, as far as accommodations are concerned, we have two different villa, uh, villages. We have our rainforest bungalows and our rainforest village. And then we have our um, ocean village, which are all these amazing tree houses. Uh, the rainforest villas itself, it is 20 guest rooms. We um, just finished doing a lot of the renovations of the flooring and such, um, all new furnishings. We have a few more pieces that are gonna, that are gonna be coming soon, but this is um, you know rooms with two queen beds. We have connecting rooms available. We have um, beautiful king room spaces with very large seating areas and just kind of this funky boho design that I think is fantastic. And as you can see, you're just surrounded by nature. Um, you, We have air conditioning in all of our guest rooms, so, so that's definitely a possibility. But then we also have big, beautiful um, ceiling fans that are very powerful that I actually, all three times, I open up all of the windows so I can hear the jungle and just have the fan going. For our ocean village, um, our villas all kind of walk you down this pathway. This is actually a video that I took myself. So you've got this amazing pathway that you're walking down through the jungle to get to any of your um, villas. We have uh, 10 of these total. Um...
Sorry, you can tell I can't multitask. Uh, is it gonna work? There. Um, so this gives you an idea. So when you're walking up, You've got these um, big boardwalks that are elevated from the um, from the floor, and this is because we wanted to have as little disturbance as possible to this forest. Um, this is one of the last places on Earth and one of the last places in Costa Rica where it has never been used for agriculture. It has never been used. Um, for anything other than just being a jungle because we're a part of the national forest. So you'll see ancient trees and it's just this amazing space that we wanted to do as little as possible to disrupt the jungle floor. So as I mentioned, there's 10 of these. Um, they're all very private floor to ceiling uh, windows that you can watch. I watched actually Kawatis, a whole family of them, which are kind of these raccoon creatures with big long tails all running through the forest. I had the opportunity to stay here and it was absolutely amazing. Indoor, outdoor showers, um, obviously beautiful ocean views, but you're surrounded by jungle. So this area in particular, you really don't need air conditioning at all because you're shaded by the jungle and the ocean breeze comes in it's amazing so you have screen doors that are on the opposite side of this glass door so you essentially have an outdoor shower here beautiful vanities um, coffee bar and you just cannot beat the view I was like pinching myself sitting out here doing my emails and just listening to the forest and uh, wondering whatever I'm doing to make sure that I can continue to do it. Um, so we have a three night minimum length of stay. Um, we, if you're staying longer, we can absolutely add some added activities into this experience. But within three night, your three night stay, all meals are included. We have on-site bird, um, bird watching with our team of guides that are the best in the country. We do a half day excursion to Isla Cano, which is Cano Island, as I mentioned, is right across. We're the closest that you can get to any of the properties there. You get a half day um, tour with our guide into Corcovado National Park, as well as all the entry fees. And then we have miles and miles of hiking just on our site as, as well that you can do. So when you're hiking, um, we have rubber boots set up and walking sticks for everybody that is arriving. Our guides are amazing. This is Luis. He's actually, um, his family is indigenous to the area and has so much knowledge and is actually an amazing bird caller, um, which is very cool because the birds, if they hear uh, him, they see, they come in. You can see this is the, um, just right off of our ground. So you can walk right into the national park so we have everything set up there for the day you'll see monkeys you'll see um cougar or pumas rather um they are there's a family that actually lives on site and you'll see them within the park as well and um, the tapir, which is an endangered animal, very rare to see um, in a lot of different areas of Costa Rica. And this is the katakata, which is one of my favorite birds there and one of my favorite birds to say, which actually um, is a friend of the tapir. So this was actually taken uh, just a little bit into Corcovado National Park. Cano Island is a marine sanctuary, so um, we have uh, exclusive access with different permits to be able to go, and we work with In Oceana, which In Oceana is a nonprofit that works with ocean conservation through education of local communities. They are an international nonprofit starting off in Spain, and they also have something on the coast of California and here in um, Ojo Chal, which is just a little ways away from Sierpe. And we've actually built a research center for them on site. And all of our tours, whether it is the half day or whether it is um, one of our experiences from recording whale songs, one of my favorite uh, things that I learned was that uh, whales they record the whale songs from the northern and the southern hemisphere. They both 
migrate to this area and they found that they they speak two different languages so it's just such a special special unique place they do a lot of research and so it's really creating citizen scientists as well we also have a huge wellness com component hence my name so uh my title so you've got all-inclusive retreats we have private yoga teachers that are really well known throughout the world as well as within Costa Rica. We work with Anima Mundi. You can do nature tours with our agroecologist that talks about all of the healing within um, the jungle itself and all the plants that can be resourced. Our shalas are beautiful. We also have daily yoga that we offer to our guests. We have an amazing spa and um, a tree. So actually this picture um shows the view from these tree nets so we have a 500 year old tree that we've placed this tree net in and part of one of the experiences that you can do is you can climb up this tree with harnesses and watch the sunset from this area i took this picture i am not excellent at uh heights but I braved it and it was so worth it. This is our spa structure here. So absolutely beautiful views, incredible views of the sunset in the evening. I recommend definitely um, trying to reserve one of the last appointments so that you can sit up here and watch sunset. This is actually a picture I've taken as well. And the location, as I mentioned, you know, I like every time I've gone, I remember I remind people on the boat that you are one of 60 people that gets to be here for the three to seven days that you're here. And it is just so remarkable to even just explore the area. So thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. And I will pass it on back to Natalie to talk a little bit. Thank you, Courtney. Yeah. Um, it's definitely been one of my favorite trips and just being there, I mean, three hours and you're like, how can I make the smallest footprint, you know, while I'm here? And you, you'll you see um, at this new restaurant they built, like the the posts are from trees that fell two weeks ago, you know, so they're just so sustainable. They use everything. You're thinking about every piece of trash has to leave by boat. So it's just really, really a very cool experience. And we um, we're starting to try to partner with the DMCs, uh, depending on how you book Costa Rica. Of course, you can book direct. Um, they are part of preferred hotels, so you will get your preferred platinum amenities. Um, we will be, you know, working towards some of the consortia programs as well. So, um, you know, I don't know. I cannot see the Q&A. Courtney, do you want to go ahead and handle any questions that were in there? Yeah, absolutely. Um, compare property to Lapa Rios. I would say we are a little bit more of an eco lux experience, um, but the service is unbelievable. And um, I just think you really, there's nothing like us. The way, how you get there, the fact that we're in the middle of the national park, you're surrounded by nature. It's very hard to compare us to anything that, um, is accessible by uh, by boat by car, um, and how long from door to door from San Jose? So, if you are, the flight is about forty minutes from San Jose, 30, 40 minutes Beautiful. from San Jose to um, Drake Bay, and then from Drake Bay it's another thirty. So I would say from san jose it's probably about let's say three hours maybe four when you consider like waiting at the airport for that flight and yes all meals and the th the activities that i mentioned are all included and i have a deck that has all sorts of very detailed information that we'll be sending to you via pdf so that you have a, a really good reference point on some of those other details as well yeah and the food is fantastic. The service is fantastic. Everything is just so fresh. You have French press coffee in the morning, um, you know, fresh coffee in your room. Uh, I can't say enough. So thank you, Courtney. Yeah, um, absolutely. And next we'll move on to Pink Sands. Unfortunately, um, Kim had an emergency on property. So uh, fortunately, I represent this property and can talk very, very educated about it, educatedly. Uh, and I was just there January 22nd, so very recently. So 
Um, Pink Sands Harbor Island. I'm not sure how many of you have been to Harbor Island. I always like to say, especially if you're familiar with Baja Mar or the Atlantis, um, it is the antithesis of that, of those. So, uh, you know, for your clients, this is going to be very exclusive. Um, it's only a three mile long, half mile wide island. So just really, really beautiful. And even though it seems you have to take a water taxi, it's not hard to get to. Um, I flew to Miami and then the flight from Miami to Eleuthera ELH is 45 minutes. Um, at the airport, we can have a bellman greet your clients. It's a five minute taxi ride. This is their massive international airport here. Um, it takes, you know, a couple of minutes to go through customs and um, you go over to three island dock. You can either we can set up a private water taxi or you can do the public water taxi, which is about five dollars. And um, it's five to 10 minutes over to Harbor Island. So super, super easy. But again, if your clients are coming for the first time, it's nice for them to have the bellman greet them at the airport, get them into the taxi. And we have specific taxis that we like to use, get them onto the water taxi and then help them arrive. Um, Harbor Island is known for its marinas as well, as well. So we have two huge marinas that have the massive super yachts. I spent half a day just walking around looking at all these gorgeous yachts. Uh, but the real reason why people are coming to Harbor Island is the pink sand. It is, and the pictures do not do it justice. You can see here a little bit, but it is the pink, pink, pink sand with the red coral running through your fingers and the water is not color corrected there. It is that blue. Um, so it's just beautiful. And you can see here, you know, just how small the island really is. So it's easy to get around. It's easy to kind of, you know, look at all the beautiful homes and the beautiful yachts. Um, here we are getting into the water taxi. And then once you get to the property, you definitely want to rent a golf cart. And we have partnered with a wonderful company called Conk and Coconut. They're a local DMC on Harbor Island. And so they have these pink golf carts just for Pink Sands Resort. Um, this is the entryway. So, you know, if you've been to Pink Sands before, it originally opened in 1951. And so if you've booked it in the past, you know, all of the rooms that were have been renovated or they're brand new. So since I started with them, they've built seven brand new properties. Um, but just the gorgeous Bahamian smiles. Oh, I put this in here again with the history. We recently had this couple who came on their honeymoon and then they came back for their 50th. So this is our general manager, Kim. He's been there for seven years and um, this beautiful couple that came for their 50th. So we're, we're seeing a lot of that people coming back for special occasions and many people visit Harbor Island every year. It's kind of their spring break tradition or their um, holiday tradition. We do have complimentary bikes to get around as well in addition to the golf carts. Um, you're greeted with pink champagne when you arrive. We're unique to the other properties on Harbor Island that you may be familiar with and that we don't have a hotel product. So it's an open air um, entryway, again, where you're greeted with pink champagne and we are up to 37 individual villas and cottages. So they're from one to four bedrooms. Um, many of them have their own private pools. We have the one that we're the property that has the most oceanfront units as well. And then this is to, to give you a flavor of what they look like now. Sorry, I'm having trouble speaking all of a sudden. Uh, this is one of our villas that's a little bit larger with the pool. These are all fenced in, so it's wonderful for families and children um, where you can sit around by the pool in the afternoon after you've had your morning at the beach. Uh, pops of color in the bathrooms. This is, a, we have two restaurants on property. So this is our blue bar, which is our oceanfront bar. Just here to the left, they've just opened a gorgeous new oceanfront pool. So this is actually my photo here at the top right, um, but it's the closest oceanfront pool on the island and it's really, really beautiful. We've recently brought in a Thai masseuse so she can either do in your cottage or they've also transformed one of the cottages to a spa cottage. Um, this is our banyan tree really Instagrammable, lots of beautiful spots for pictures around the property. Um, the other restaurant is Malcolm 51. This is our more fine dining restaurant. We recently stole the chef from the Cove in Eleuthera and we are, I mean, just so busy every night. Some of the best sushi that you're ever going to have. Um, some other spaces off the lobby, but just to give you a taste of the food, it's fresh. 
uh, I can't speak enough about the sushi and I eat sushi about three times a week. And then here at the Blue Bar, breakfast, lunch, and happy hour and cocktails there. Our pool room, so a lot of places for people to gather um, together. Again, with Conk and Coconut, the DMC company, this was actually my picture. We went on a recent fam. So we took this boat out. We did snorkeling. We starfish hunted. We went swimming with the pigs, uh, which is something everybody wants to do when they're there. So lots of fun. Um, other adventures, you can go over to Eleuthera for the day. This is actually the glass bridge where the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Ocean meet. So it's a really, really unique um, standing on top of this bridge. Really cool. There's a lot of history. Some of the first settlers that came to the Caribbean came to Preacher's Cave and lived in this cave. So um, some cute shopping. So you can do that for the day, you know, in case of inclement weather. We do have some small meeting space if you have, um, obviously it's perfect for a takeover if you wanted to take over all 37 villas. We do beautiful weddings, um, set up tents on the beach if you'd like, but there's lots of spaces to have receptions. And then just some more really pretty pictures. This is the lonely tree or the lone tree, um, very Instagrammable as well. And then every month they do a full moon party uh, where all the proceeds go back to the, the local community. So that's a lot of fun for our guests to participate in. Locals are invited as well. Um, so let's see if we have any questions for Pink Sands. Hey, Tim, are we still talking about um, Pink Sands here? You can book via Classic. Uh, we're just starting to work again with Ultimate Jet. Um, of course, you can book direct. This hotel is also part of Preferred, so you can certainly book it that way too. And then I don't think there's any. Love the pigs. <laughs> Uh, can you arrange airport transfers through the hotel? Yes, absolutely. Um, wheelchair accessibility, it, you can take the golf carts right up to most of the villas, and some of the villas definitely are roll-in. Um, some of the showers definitely are roll-in, but it is, it's not the most ADA accessible property, I'll be honest. Um, and I would say the same for Costa Rica. You know, my I was in, when I was in Costa Rica, my father's a little bit bigger man. He's not very mobile. He would have a hard time kind of getting on and off the boat and some of the activities. So, you know, for both of these properties, it's definitely not for a hundred percent of people, but um, let's see. And that was about Corcovado. So great. I wanted to remind you all, um, we do have some upcoming webinars next week. We're going to cover Spain, uh, Scotland, and Italy. And then we have our four Ireland properties coming up. And then we'll do Aurora, Anguilla, and Half Moon, Jamaica um, at the end of April. So you can use that same link or we'll definitely be sending out reminders for that. You can scan the QR code here to get the full webinar schedule. And then please, 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 I encourage you, we're still really trying to build our social media. We've had some great growth recently, but please follow us. You're welcome to also use um, you know, whatever we post on our social sites on your own, uh, repost as well. So that is it. And just can't thank you all enough for your time and for your interest. And we'll definitely follow up with the recorded webinar. But as Courtney said, you know, some PDFs, some helpful PDFs that have even more information. For both of these properties, it's really about setting expectations for your clients. You know, the arrival process is a little bit different. Um, but we can guide you through that. And we've done it many, many times. So thank you all. Have a great rest of your week. We hope to see you at some upcoming shows or um, I'll be in the D.C., Philadelphia, Richmond area the week of April 22nd. And then I'll be in the Chicago, St. Louis and Atlanta area in May. So if you haven't gotten uh, any the invitations yet, please let me know so that I can send those over to you. So thank you. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.